Well, today's work uh, has been out here by Fremont Lake. And the wind is blowing enough and creating enough waves. It's almost like being on the ocean. It has been crazy. But yeah, it's beautiful out there for sure. But we're fixing to head to Rock Springs, Wyoming. Hopefully to a Planet Fitness because I'm starting to feel a little grimy. So, as I'm driving across Wyoming, <laughs> it is so flat-ish. But I can almost see where people would think the world is flat. Because <laughs> it is like you drop off into nothing over there. It's crazy. I mean, it's been a really weird look. I wish I had gotten it a little bit sooner. But it's almost like we're on top of a mesa. And then it just drops off. And you can see for miles and miles and miles. But this is where the Oregon Trail comes through. And I can just imagine what it was like back then. I can't. Well, you know, I wonder if it was as scrubby, you know, as it is now, or if there were actually trees or what, because you just never know. History tells you one thing, just like maps tell you one thing, but they don't tell you everything. But anyway, I'm on my way to Rock Springs, going to the Planet Fitness. Thank you, Lord. So, Wyoming. I just read a thing and all this scrubby brush is sage. Well, maybe not all of it, but most of it. And it is what sustains the antelopes and the wild game that is um, roaming these plains. Isn't that cool? Um, but yeah, this is definitely not what I expected. I don't know why I didn't expect it, but I just didn't. But I'm so glad, like I said, getting out here and having an opportunity to see it for myself and uh, seeing what the world's made out of. It's amazing. So as I'm driving along in Wyoming, I look out and I see this awesome looking um, formation out there. And it looks, it reminds me of you know, I keep saying the mountain from, um, it's a Devil's Tower from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Anyway, come to find out, it is in Wyoming. Because I looked it up. I was like, where is this thing? And it's in, um, in Wyoming. So, I can see, I can totally see it happening. But it's, a, I, would, I would go, but it's like three and a half hours away. And, no, I can't go that far out of the way but um yeah that would take me up to North Dakota and I plan on going down through Colorado so <sighs> maybe next trip but man this landscape is so strange I can't wait to find out I want to read up on it and see what uh created Devil's Tower because it's kind of a weird formation as well so good times I am excited something new to research of it going it was almost like it was going into an envelope because it didn't go behind the mountain it just disappeared into that fog <laughs> I don't know if it's smoke or what but man it's thick but you can see that it's peeking through and lighting up the clouds just as fast
right now I am headed towards Denver and I don't know if you can tell it but the smoke is so thick that you can't see the mountains or anything that should be there to my right. Um, Rocky Mountain National Park is right over there and you can't see anything and I am really struggling with going over there when the smoke is so bad. Um, I just don't think it, I think it's kind of a waste of my time to get pictures and things of it while it's so smoke filled. But, I don't know, I'll, I'm, I'm headed to the Molly Brown house. I'll see what I feel like when I get done with there. Cause I may just start my trek back to Tennessee um, now instead of waiting. That way, I'll be there quicker and get my life in order and ready for the office. Anyway, this is this is what I'm dealing with. As bad as I hate it, I am not going to Rocky Mountain National Park. It is too smoky. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to Colorado Springs and gonna see Garden of the Gods and then I am headed to Tennessee. I'll start tonight, drive tomorrow and see how far I can get. But I think, I think this is a sign I got to get out of here. <laughs> I need to get on back home. Anyway, that was a good trip. I went to the Molly Brown house and that made me happy. That was a bucket list item and I got it done. So that works out. Okay, so I said I'm going, and I am. I finally found an Ikea. Yay! So I'm going to check it out for a real quickly. And then um, get my little hind end on down to Janky, um, Garden of the Gods. And then well, I'm going to get something to eat to get the dog a walk and all that kind of good stuff. But, yay! Um, yeah. This should be fun. Because I've always wanted to go in Ikea. And I've never been. So, yay. Good times. But it's way over there. So, I have made it to Garden of the Gods. In Colorado Springs. And I'm about to go into the visitor center. See what the deal is. And then head over. Well, from the looks of it. Uh, this might be a drive through Huh? That is at the Central Garden. And now I guess we're gonna head around and see if we can find a parking space at another place. Good Lord, this is crazy. But that's what I get for being late. It's, uh, I don't even know what time it is. But, Super duper tired. <sighs> there we go. There's some good views. Love the things. And of course, there's no stopping in the road, no parking in other places. But you know, you know how it is. big old rig. It's hard to park places because I'm so big. I don't know. But it is what it 
this. And I'm thankful that I've got this big rig because it has made comfort a uh, option while traveling. See a dark spot, I better grab that so because <laughs> I think I just passed one. That was bad. Bad idea. Mm. Mm. Maybe I get Johnny and we'll go on top of one of these piles of rocks. So if you have ever ridden in a horse through some of these national parks, I would love to hear from you. <laughs> I'd like to see what it's like because I bet it is amazing. It's cool that this park is free, that the um, person who bought it and deeded it to the city did so, so that as long as they kept it free for people forever, and that's beautiful. So beautiful. Let's see what we got here. Siamese Twin Trailhead. So little, he can't help it. There's a lot of people climbing all over these rocks. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. Something about it is just funny to me. Look how bad smoke is. I mean, the sun is just it is so shaded. It's so weird. heard about it. I know everybody's heard about it. If I want to do it, everybody wants to do it. Up, so many people. 
I'm going to uh, get on up out of here too. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to find a place to stay tonight and then I'm going to go on the road to Tennessee. It's beautiful to see. I don't have to share it. It's good for you guys to get out and see it for yourselves because it's beautiful. The world is just a beautiful place. But anyway, my face is not beautiful right now. I feel very bad. But it is what it is. I am who I am. And there ain't nothing I can do about the cycle that I'm on because, <laughs> you know, women. But anyway, I will uh, talk to you guys later. this morning with Miss Stella anyway um, she's just an awesome lady and I'm so thankful I ran into her the good thing about these travels is when you meet people generally generally you meet genuine people who are just amazing and I'm very thankful but I just um, left Colorado Springs and I'm headed out towards Limon and um, past a farmer's market and you know it's bad whenever you go <laughs> I don't need any more food because I've got so much food in here it's ridiculous but anyway I am excited to return to Tennessee it has been a tremendous trip I, my, my whole body I, I think it's, it's time look at my poor face my hormones are out of whack I think it's just time to get back, I guess, to, to some sort of normalcy. I look like I'm swollen for some reason, but I've got all this food I've been <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. It is Sunday for me, and I am headed as far as I can and until uh, I can get Wi-Fi make sure I'm ready for work tomorrow but um, yeah what a good time okay so another testament to how smoky it is and how weird <laughs> the uh, windmills look when you're coming across the landscape it is so strange can you see them what about now they're out there and they're everywhere. Uh, I so, let me tell you, I just called Selena Petco to see if I could get Johnny in for a grooming. And she said they, they were booked up till the 27th. Um, the one thing today is maybe the 8th of the month. So, anyway, okay. Obviously, uh, grooming is a big business. And I asked her if there was a self um, pet wash anywhere in the area. She said, yeah, and there is one, and it's called Laundromut. <laughs> Laundromut. Oh, my word. I laughed and laughed. That's great. Love it. Laundromut. <laughs> 